Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to enable frame generation for your games on your Steam Deck, Steam OS for free. Yes, this is a free mod. So if you own a Steam Deck, I don't see any reason not to do this. It's a free performance boost. So I'll show you how to do it. Um, the prerequisite is your game needs to have DirectX 12 support and it needs to have DLSS 2 or DLSS 3 natively, okay? And the example game I'm going to do it on today is The Witcher 3. And this one's special because this game is on my GOG account. So I installed this game through Heroic Games Launcher onto my Steam Deck. So the process is a little bit different. So I hope this will help you out if you have some games on your Epic Game Store or on your GOG. This will help you out. If your game is on your Steam library and you want to install this mod, I actually have another video showing you how to do that uh, with Hogwarts Legacy. So I'll link that video in the description. You can check that out so without further ado let me just start the game so i've not installed the mod yet i want to show you the game without the mod and you know what's the difference after installing the mod so you can like have a like better picture of that so if you're liking the video so far make sure you hit the thumbs up button and if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. We talk a lot about gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, the Lenovo Legion Go, the Nintendo Switch. We talk a lot about emulation, mods, cheats, trainers, stuff like that. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so this is the launcher screen. So make sure you have like the latest version, like the next gen version, because that's the version that supports DirectX 12. So if you've got like previous versions, they don't support DirectX 12. And like I said, this mod requires the game to have DirectX 12 support in order to work. Okay, so I'm booting into my game right now. And let's go to options. And there you can see uh, video graphics okay so i'm going to set my graphic preset to high and then if you go to here anti-aliasing we've got a few options like off and then fxaa taau fsr2 xexs and then if i go across it says deal ss is not supported it's because i'm on my steam deck i've got an amd um gpu not nvidia so it doesn't support that okay so that's why we're going to install this mod it lets us think that we've got an nvidia gpu so we can toggle on dlss and it's not really dlss it's like unless you toggle on dlss so if we go to display you can see here the frame generation it's grayed out so if we can toggle dlss we can also toggle on dlss frame generation and then we can use whatever upscaler we want we can use fsr we can use xess yeah it, it, it actually like decouples those so that's what the mod is doing okay so now let me take you back to my desktop mode and we, let's let's install the mod. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'll see you back in desktop mode. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck's desktop mode. So the first thing you need to do is you need to know where your game folder is. Okay, um, I installed my game. It's a GOG game uh, with Heroic Games Launcher. So if you don't know how to install GOG games or Epic Game Store games with Heroic Games Launcher onto your Steam Deck, I do have a video for that. I'll link it in the description. You can check that out if you want. Okay, so I've got The Witcher 3 here installed with Heroic Games Launcher and I know where it's installed. So uh, if I open up my Dolphin here home, it's in my games folder and then Heroic and then here, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Uh, game of the year edition and then um i'm not going to install the mod here i need to go deeper it's inside the bin folder and then here x64 dx12 okay because there's a lot of versions for this game it, it supports um, DirectX 11 as well so we're going to install it inside the DirectX 12 folder okay so this is the folder that we want okay and then um you would also need to download the mod so go to this page. I'll link it in the description. It's uh, Nexus Mods page. And the mod is called DLSS Enabler. Okay. Um, and like it, it is a joint effort. Um, a lot of developers uh, did a joint effort to make this mod available for free. So the credits goes to these guys. Thank you very much for making this mod for free, especially. All right. So shout out. Big shout out to you guys. Um, and then uh, you go download it. So it's right here inside the files and then get the latest one. Click manual download. It's a, uh, here it tells you, you need to do the, um, reg file. So I'll show you how to do that later. Uh, click download. It's an exe file. Okay. So some people might be cautious 
worry that it's a virus or something like that, I'm just going to click slow download. Um, yeah, it could be a virus, guys. So you do this at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any of these kind of stuff. But um, yeah, I'm doing it. But uh, you don't have to follow me, right? Okay, so do it at your own risk. If you're concerned, just don't do it. It's just a mod. You don't really need it. Um, okay, so it's downloading. That's great. So it's going to be in my downloads folder right here. Once it's done, it's downloading. So just wait for it. Yep, here it is. Okay. Now go back to your Heroic Games Launcher. Click on this options button for your game. Okay. And then under Wine. Okay. Uh, I'm using Wine GE Proton 8. 26 okay but uh yeah i think you could experiment with different proton versions if you want okay so just scroll down a bit and then here run exe on prefix click on it and it'll bring out this file selector go to your downloads and we want to select the mod the exe that could be a virus okay so dlss enabler select it and then it's going to bring out the installer okay i'm going to accept the agreement next next and then here you need to select the uh, folder okay i'm just gonna click browse and it's in my z drive because z drive is my um internal storage home deck and then do i have games yes games heroic and then the game is the witcher 3 wild hunt game of the year edition and then it's inside the bin folder if you remember and then x64 dx12 so this is the folder i want to install it to so click ok make sure double check it make sure and then next and then i want to install dlss enabler dll uh, dll module okay version .dll. all right if you already have some mods on your and you have an asi loader you want to might want to select this one like an ASI plugin, all right, but uh, I don't, so I'm just going to use the version.dll and then I'm going to also click this um, enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs because you know I'm on a Steam Deck, it's an AMD GPU, and then click next, install. Yeah, so it's just installing the files to the directory that uh, we specified, the game directory, the game folder, and no, we don't want to read the README file, just click finish. And we're done this part. And if you take a look at the game folder, we have like more files. We have the mod files installed here. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now what we need to do is we need to add the launch options. Okay, so for uh, like the Steam, you just add it in the um, properties. There's a launch options. Uh, but in uh, Heroic Games Launcher, you need to go to advanced, this advanced tab. Okay, scroll down a bit and you've got environment variables okay and then variable name right here type capital letters wine dll overrides okay like that and then here we're going to type version and then comma dxgi equals n comma b oops oops i pressed something else oh my god Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I opened up MU deck. Okay, so, so again, version comma DXGI equals N comma B, and then click on this plus button. That's it. Okay. Oops. Uh, okay, and then we also need to do that register thing that um, Nexus mod told you about. Okay, so. Uh, here in the game folder, you'll notice that you've got a new file called disable NVIDIA signature checks.reg. Okay, just drag it over to your desktop. I already have it. So I'm just going to copy here. And since I've already got it, so I'm just going to overwrite. For you, you should ha don't have this file. Just copy it over to your desktop. Okay, and then click on this options button again. Scroll down. This time, uh, go to your wine tab scroll down and click wine tricks okay and then click on this open wine tricks gui the gui okay and just wait for it it's gonna take a bit okay this is the gui so select the default wine prefix okay and then here run reg edit okay and then you get this window go to registry 
import registry file go to your desktop and here you've got that file disable nvidia signature checks dot reg double click it then you've got this message the keys and values contained in blah 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 were successfully added to the registry if you got this click ok close it and then you can just quit out of this cancel cancel and then cross cross and that's basically done okay so uh, you should already have your Steam shortcut. So I've got my Steam shortcut, all right? If you don't have the Steam shortcut, it says create uh, create to Steam. Uh, now it says remove to Steam because I've already created the shortcut. So yeah, we're basically done. Uh, now let's go back to gaming mode and test it all out, okay? So I'll see you back in gaming mode. Okay, so welcome back to my Steam Deck's gaming mode. This is the shortcut for my game, The Witcher 3, with the heroic games launcher if you can see like it's a flat pack um you know the launch options is the heroic games launcher options and we've already installed the mods so let's just run the game we installed the mods together and yeah let's just hope for the best uh we're hoping to be able to enable dlss in the graphics options and also in the display options to toggle on frame generation that's the goal Okay, so if you made it this far, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and also leave something nice in the comments. Okay, so yeah, make sure it's DirectX 12. Yeah, so make sure you leave a comment, say something nice. We can engage in a little conversation. And if you have any issues, also let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to help you out. But I don't think you should have any issues because it's been pretty straightforward and I've like did every little detail on camera. So just follow along. Okay, so options and then video, graphics. Okay, so graphic preset, I'm gonna set it to high. And then here, anti-aliasing. Okay, so if I go to the right, you can see we can now enable DLSS. Okay, before it like has a little message on the bottom right, uh, bottom left corner saying DLSS is not supported. Now it is, and then DLSS quality. So this isn't really DLSS, it, it enables us to toggle on DLSS. It's actually using um, FSR and then um, I turned off motion blur okay and then in display you can see now DLSS frame generation now it's not grayed out and we can toggle this on okay and yeah let's boot into the game and let's test it out so normally if I turn on high uh, graphic preset uh, in the open world I get like 40 ish frames Okay, um, and then some like harder parts to run, maybe like it dips into like the 30s, something like that. Now let's see what we're getting. Okay, going into the game. Okay, so you can see we get like 60-ish, 70. If we look into the sky, I should get more. Yeah, obviously, 80. Okay. No ghosting. I don't really feel any input lag. It's feeling responsive to me. I, I, I guess this isn't like a frame perfect game that you need to parry and all that. No, no, it's okay. Maybe there is input lag. I, I just can't feel the difference. I can't feel the difference. But I want to go to like a place like maybe the forest. So fight some enemies. Something like that. I haven't played this game for so long. I don't think I've got the full armor yet. Entry. Grandmaster Feline Gauntlets. Yeah, I've, I, I think I need the... Grandmaster Feline Trousers, Grandmaster Feline Boots. Yeah, I think I need the Grandmaster Feline Armor. I haven't crafted that yet. 
Uh, I've got the Grandmaster Feline Silver Sword and Steel Sword. Yeah. Still missing one piece of the Grandmaster set. Get that later. I have time to play. This game runs actually really well on the Steam Deck. So if you have the Steam Deck and you play The Witcher 3, definitely get this mod. It's free. I don't see any reason not to use this mod. So I'll show you if I toggle it off, the DLSS frame generation so video and then um, display so if I turn off frame generation and then graphics I set it to FSR 2 that's it, still in high presets so I get like 30 ish frames that's uh, what you should normally expect So yeah, big improvement, big improvement. So I'll leave it here. Thank you for watching. If uh, there's any issues, let me know in the comments and make sure you hit the thumbs up, like this video, helps out the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.